And today we're going to go over the Aster Analytic Learning Series using Ngram and Aster. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so Ngram is part of our text analytics uh, uh, genre of analytics that are available in Aster. Um, basically, Ngram tokenizes or splits an input stream of text into multiple n grams or a specified set of grams that you can specify inside of the uh, ngram algorithm in aster use cases would be for tokenizing or creating multiple multigram sets of data um, that can be used for other purposes um, it's great for shingling and we'll get into what that means here a little bit uh, but it's basically a data preparation tool for other analytics such as minhash or tfidf or other types of text analytics that you may want to do um, you know, fun fact is, is that sometimes you, this, this concept of, of uh, tokenization is called a lexical analyzer, a lexer tokenizer or scanner, but basically it's, it's a lexical analysis that basically says let's create a uh, sequence of text. Let's take a sequence of text and convert it into tokens. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it's done and a deeper dive here. So um, basically Ngram considers each input row to be one document and it returns a row for each unique Ngram in each document. So there's this concept of shingling that I mentioned earlier. And basically what this is, is basically the ability, and if you look here, I've got a, a picture of a roof and a set of shingles. And if you notice, shingles overlap one another. Well, shingling in text analytics is, is very similar. And the shingling is used to see if there are similarities between documents or similarities within documents. Um, uh, and it's, it's great for um, understanding Jacquard uh, coefficients and, and it, as an input source to minhash to see if we have duplication going across a, a document or set of corpus of documents. So to use this, it's basically we have an input table of text. We've pushed that into the Ngram algorithm in Aster and we get an output table as a result set. So let's take a look at the input. So we've, uh, you basically have a table here called tweets underscore ngram, and it's made up of two columns, a GUID and a comments. And the GUID is basically a global unique identifier for a tweet. And this is a set of tweets. The comments are actually from Twitter data. Uh, comments is just the text of the tweet or the actual tweet. If you take a look here, um, select star from public dot tweets underscore ngram, limit 100, you'll see that uh, here's my unique identifier and this is the actual tweet or the body of text that we're going to tokenize. Okay, so how the SQLMR function works, the ngram function works inside of Aster, it's fairly simple. You create a table and we're just, you don't have to create a table, but I like to just to persist the output, but we're gonna generate a table called tweets ngram out, and we're gonna distribute by hash GUID, which is one of the fields down here in the source, and select star from ngram. So it works just like any of our other uh, analytic functions in Aster. On public.tweets underscore ngram, this specifies the data source, which is from the previous uh, screen here. And then we have um, these predicates right here. So the text column is the actual column from the input source that we're going to tokenize. You'll see that this comments up here matches this field here. The delimiter basically says that we will divide words in the comments uh, uh, field that have a space between them. So that's basically it. And you can specify your own delimiter. I'm just using a blank space. We're going to create four grams. So you can specify any number here, any integer. Overlapping true, which means we're going to implement shingling, meaning that uh, we're, the, the, we're gonna you know, basically implement that overlapping function that we, we talked about in the previous slide. Um, case insensitive true, which basically means we are um, Going to, true converts all case to lowercase, so we're going to convert everything to uh, lowercase. Um, and you can specify that as false and I'll leave case alone. Um, and then the punctuation means that we're going to parse out, and this is a regular expression that parses out all, um, you know, basic uh, punctuation marks, such as periods, question marks, and uh, explanation points. Reset means that then whenever we see a period or a question mark um, in the end of a sentence, that we're going to end the ngram sections, and this act absolutely takes effect before the punctuation strip is being stripped out takes effect. Accumulate means that we're going to take the GUID um, field and we're going to push that into the output into this tweets underscore ngram out, um, and then we're going to order by GUID. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how 
The output looks it's fairly simple. Select star from public tweets ngram out, order by GUID. Um, so you can see here, this is the GUID field that came over. We accumulated that from the source. Um, we're, this is the number, the actual gram that was created. So we have four grams in each one of these. And then the frequency is basically how frequent that this happened in that, in that, uh, that, that uh, text column that we uh, tokenized there by the grams of four. So that's it. Um, to do this yourself, I've created a little simple little script here. So this just basically you can cut and paste this out and uh, we'll have all this documentation up on the community. And you'll be able to create a table called tweets and gram. Then in the next uh, slide, we actually create the uh, insert table for you. So you can just cut and paste this out and insert this data into that table. And then you come back up here and this is the actual ngram statement. So you can uh, run this uh, code here in your uh, query uh, tool and it will actually generate this data. And just to prove that this actually does work is here's the actual um, tables that I created in, in our example. Um, and this is the data in that table. And then I actually um, ran this, this uh, SQL MR statement, this ngram statement here and was able to generate this output right here. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's a fairly simple data preparation text analytic and uh, hope you have a happy, happy day.